part of the structure in the home, again, I mean, I copy Gary a lot. I say uh, who I am, right? Uh, why I do what I do. I tell them that I'm passionate about it. I love my job. You know, I'm serious about taking care of the family. And uh, I think of a lot, just like on the phone, a lot of how you look them in the eyes, like kneecap to kneecap, look them in the eyes, uh, the, the seriousness of your tone, the professionalism, that all plays a role. And then again, like I said, sometimes we think we gotta build all this rapport you know, whether it's mortgage protection or final expense, and we really don't. In fact, they, they don't really want you there. Uh, they want you to help them and then leave, you know? And you don't really want to be there either, you know? You just want to help them and leave, you know, and get on to your next one. Uh, so, um, the biggest thing though, like we always talk about, uh, number, step number two, obviously this is important, your intro, telling them what you do, why you do it, but when you identify the need, that's the most important, you know, part of the sale. So, um, but and that's before you provide the structure, okay? So you're not gonna say, okay, Gary, here's what we're gonna do today, if you haven't identified the need really well yet. I think, you know, sometimes we jump to conclusions and we're like, oh, you know, Grayson told me I gotta provide all this structure, so I'm gonna say, hey, there's three reasons why people meet with me, A, B, or C, what's yours? And they say it, and then you're like, okay, great. Well, here's what we're gonna do today. And you think you're doing good, you know? And that's that's what you need to say, but you really need to hang out on that why, on that need, right? So, just like we always talk about, that's where the sales made. So, you know, at that point, what I usually say is, okay, we're gonna do whatever we gotta do to get this taken care of today and meet your budget, you know? We're, we're gonna do this, you know? But if they've been procrastinating, uh, John will say, um, I'll say too, because I copied John. Um, okay, so we're gonna stop procrastinating, right, Alex? Now's when we're, we're gonna stop procrastinating. <clears throat> and I'll say, you know, Alex, you've had 65 years to think about this. So we're gonna go ahead and get it taken off the table. Is that cool? You know, before they tell me they're gonna think about it at the end, I go ahead and tell them that we're gonna, that he's had a long time to think about this already. Or, and I'll even say, I don't, I don't wait to show them the paperwork. To, I, I do say, hey, hey, like Mike says, hey, go ahead and think about this, John and Mary. Let's think about this now. I'm gonna go ahead and get it rolling. You know, I'll start the app. But I'll even say that towards the beginning. You know, I'm like, today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna think about this really hard. And we're gonna make a decision. You know, so, I'm like, <laughs> so it's just, it just, you know, I, I just got tired <clears throat> of being in an appointment for 30 minutes before I found out that they're gonna, have, they didn't have a bank account or they weren't serious or I don't know why you're here. I mean, I already got coverage, you know, and you're like 30 minutes in. You know everything about their whole family already, you know. <clears throat> and I'll say this. Uh, don't be afraid to kind of cut them off, you know, when they're talking, not in a rude way, uh, but people will just talk your ear off, especially that when they're retired and they, they're kind of lonely. They'll talk to you all day about everything in the world, and then at the very end, be like, and you know what? I, I don't really need any insurance, you know, after, and literally, it confuses me. They'll talk to you an hour, and they know you're a salesman in their home, and then they'll be like, you know, and and I don't need any coverage, I'm all good. Like I got $300,000 if I die tomorrow and you're there for like burial coverage or something. <laughs> Shelly, if y'all listen to Shelly's call, she talked about pivoting. So that's when you pivot. Instead of, they got $300,000 worth of insurance that's whole life or something that's not gonna expire. You don't, you know, you don't try to sell necessarily $10,000 worth of burial insurance if it's final expense. Now if it's maybe like a buying time type of payment protector, thing that's different, but you might want to pivot to an annuity or something else. So if you're not on the advanced market sales calls, you know, not that I, <clears throat> I'm not too good in annuities, like someone like Amy or John or some other folks, but you want to be on these other calls so that way you can pivot in your homes. Right.